Hello guys, this is Lamin Sana of LS Web Apps and welcome back to this um, simple PHP CMS system. Okay, so in this video, let's see how we can implement deleting a user. Right, so here on the users list um, page here, um, let's implement these buttons here. But um, we're gonna only gonna show it for um, the user which is not currently logged in because we don't want a user to delete his own account when he's logged in okay so we'll show it for the other users but not the currently logged in user so right now i am logged in as um edward so if we implement it properly this link should not be shown for edward okay so let's head over to um the users list page here which is index so we're gonna do one if statement in the for each here so we're gonna say um PHP so open up a tag and say if dollar underscore session and um, the ID is um, not equal to user and then um, the ID of the currently logged in user that we've gotten okay so let's just end that um, if statement there let's say end if we just push that to the um, front so now when I come here refresh um, says unexpected and if um, so let's see should be a semicolon so refresh as you can see um, well actually the place that we put in this if check here is wrong it should be put in around the delete um, link here not in the looping of the whole user okay so pardon me for that I refresh as you can see now edit is not being so delete is not being shown for Edward okay so likewise, if we logged in with John Green or Lisa, it's not going to be shown for those. All right. So next, let's go ahead to um, our delete.php um, page here. And let's try to implement that. So let's create a page called delete. So delete.php. Okay. So in there, let's um, just open a PHP tag. I'm going to do some required statements. So to split things up. Let's go to process edit password um, and just copy the two required blocks at the top there. Okay. So next, let's um, get the ID of the current user we're trying to delete. So ID equals to dollar underscore get. And then ID. So let's um, start the session. And um, just so a user can't delete their own um, account, let's do if dollar underscore session and then um, the id is not equal to um, the current user id so let's get the current user so let's say user equals to get user and then we pass in the id actually we don't have to do that we can just actually use the id that we gotten from the get parameter okay so if the dollar underscore session id it's not equal to should be is equal to then we're gonna just exit say you cannot delete your own um, account okay or to make things even better let's do a header and then we're gonna do a location And then we're going to locate back to the users list slash index.php and then we're going to pass it an error which just says you cannot delete your own account okay so to test that out let's head over here so now this user's id is three okay so what we want to do is we want to go to forward slash um users forward slash delete and give it the id of three so delete dot php id equal to three so as you can see you cannot delete your own account because a user might be able to enter it in the url here but we won't let them delete their own account okay but if we click on any of these nothing will happen and um it will skip this if statement but we haven't implemented delete so it's got blank screen so i'm gonna go back and now let's continue implementing the delete so let's say if delete user and then id um to our header location for slash users or else if it fails for some reason to header location 
forward slash users and then um, it's just passing an error parameter here equal to could not delete user okay so next let's implement this delete user here in our functions.php so let's go there and um, right at the bottom here let's do function delete user okay so we're gonna receive the id here because that's all we need so let's say pdo equals to db get connection okay next let's create the sql statement it's going to be um, delete from users where id equals to this bound parameter id here so statement equals to pdo prepare sql okay next let's say statement and then what we want to do is execute and let's pass in an array which has the bound parameters id and the value of id which is passed in as an argument so if deleted is equal to true then we're just going to return that uh, we'll return it either way whether it's false or true okay so let's head over here and i'm going to refresh so let's try to delete these accounts now so i'm going to delete john green click on delete as you can see john green no longer exists in the database so let's go over here refresh no john green let's try to delete lisa green now so i'm going to do delete as you can see when i refresh there's no lisa green in the database okay so um so that brings us to the end of this video wherein we implemented delete functionality for user for other accounts and i thank you for watching i will see you soon cheers bye bye